Yes, just one day after 11 starving horses and one donkey were rescued and brought here, their caretakers say already you can see that they have a new light in their eyes and are doing better. This is the sound of a starving horse, head in a bucket of something he hasn't seen for months, horse feed. This was Monday evening, just after his rescue. We went out to Indian Town in the middle of nowhere. Workers at Equine Rescue and Adoption found him and 10 others malnourished and depressed on a 200 acre cow pasture. When we went to go get him, his head was very low to the ground and the light was just gone from his eyes. They went to help sheriff's detectives convince the owner to turn over the horses. He'd lost his job and didn't have the money to feed them much. He wanted to keep them. Uh, we were allowed to take about half of them, but there were a few that he wanted to keep. They took a donkey, painted ponies, and a thoroughbred mare with a foal, all with protruding ribs and a look of hunger in their eyes. But the dark bay was the worst and the one who seemed most relieved to be here. Once he got here, he's now eating grass. He didn't even try out there. He had just given up. And he hasn't stopped eating since. Feed, grass, or hay, he just keeps eating. He's about a 15-year-old thoroughbred, give or take. He has a lip tattoo, so we know he was registered for racing at some point. The owner told them he didn't know about that. He just called him old man and basically handed over the lead rope. His halter says Morriston Chief, and a Google search reveals he raced under that name six times in 2006. Now Chief's racing days are long gone. No silks, no fancy stall or cheering crowd. But he's got a large group of horse lovers here determined to bring Chief and the others back to health. They've got so many animals here to be checked that they're going to bring a team of vets in on Wednesday to do a total assessment. They have to work slowly. They can't pick back on all this weight overnight. It's going to be quite a job, but they think they can bring all these horses back to health. And of course, to do that, donations are very much appreciated. Terry Parker, WPBF 25 News.